roaring free in my mind Please rise. Miss Priscilla Clark, a.k.a. Karma the Kid. The state of Louisiana hereby charges you with the crimes of assault, battery, and capital murder in the first degree for the hit and run deaths of Judge Uncle Tom Moore and Bubba Clan Man Willingham. How do you plead, Miss Clark? She not guilty, y'all. You've been hit by. You've been struck by. A smooth criminal. If you wanna go to court and complain, better see the overrule to sustain. But ain't no evidence been obtained, so the kid won't be in no chains. So I already tried to get caught in my frame, trying to put my name at the blame. Well, I'm innocent until proven guilty, so innocent I will remain. Wanna find me in contempt? Go ahead and bang on your gavel, cause I'ma continue to talk shit till I gain control of this battle. You ain't gotta go through the hassle of trying to obtain a verdict, cause how I persuaded the jury to take my cell is too perfect. I ain't have to do this shit nervously, I'm a professional at perjury. I walked up out of the courtroom with my freedom one courtesy I was tried with attempted murder, assault and battery and burglary Not guilty on each count was how the verdict returned to me Not of my pocket for court costs so they returned me my currency Currently the dude that's injured, he is now in day surgery Emergency, you may want to come to his aid urgently Cause I committed murder to the first degree But it ain't a murder, murder, it ain't a killer, killer thing I just know how to play the game it ain't a murder, murder. It ain't a killer, killer thing. I just know how to play the game. Now listen to me. It ain't a murder, murder. It ain't a killer, killer thing. I just know how to play the game. Hey. It ain't a murder, murder. It ain't a killer, killer thing. I just know how to play the game. Since there was no eyewitness, there was no one to testify. So the judge would not know if I tell a lie. So the only way he would is it consistent now to buys. But this was Meditated so I covered every side I played that role perfect during the interrogation They thought I was gon' crack when they brought up the investigation But I was prepared for the polygraph examination I knew I was gon' pass, I'm ready for emancipation The prosecutors hated cause they ain't had no control If it was up to it in my head, life with no chance of parole They asked me if I did it and the answer was no If I didn't then who did? And I told them I ain't know See they tried to send me up with false DNA 
evidence I wrote two pants and gloves, so that shouldn't have been no fingerprints I know that I'm guilty, but I'm proving off my innocence Without pleading insanity, you're capping that on self-defense That's why I know it ain't a murder, murder It ain't a killer, killer thing I just know how to play the game It ain't a murder, murder it ain't a killer, killer thing. I just know how to play the game. Now listen to me, it ain't a murder, murder. It ain't a killer, killer thing. I just know how to play the game. Hey, it ain't a murder, murder. It ain't a killer, killer thing. I just know how to play the game. Listen, now marshals knocking on the doors and they issuing out subpoenas to people who know this girl and who might have possibly seen her. The day, the time. That the crime was committed, they need an eyewitness Cause they know that I ain't gon' admit it Now I'm not taking the fifth amendment Try me as any subject matter Michael Jackson, R. Kelly, O.J. Simpson, it doesn't matter Completing the statement, prosecution proceeds to object Telling the judge to open his eyes on my obvious suspect Well, objection is overruled and there are no further questions So I'm released from the stand without evidence of connection First they brought up execution And they gave me selections of lethal injection and gas chamber and even electric And I stated, don't believe the accusations on display If you was dumb to the fact Haters are on this case So he thought about it And looked at my presence With some concern And ruled me not guilty And said the court was adjourned It ain't a murder, murder It ain't a killer, killer thing I just know how to play the game It ain't a murder, murder It ain't a killer, killer thing I just know how to play the game Now listen to me It ain't a murder, murder It ain't a killer, killer thing I just know how to play the game It ain't a murder, murder a killer, killer, they got to know how to play the game. Order, order in the court, I said. Mr. Foreman, has the jury reached a verdict? Yes, Your Honor. We the jury find Miss Priscilla Clark, aka Karma the Kid, not guilty on all counts, and we demand her goddamn immediate release. Miss Clark, you are hereby released on your own recordings. <laughs> hey, you know what? <laughs> I wasn't worried about the shit no way, because I already knew I was going to be released. I'm cold blooded than a motherfucker. <laughs>keep it coming in here begging for me for my topo chico now i gave i had two left i gave her a whole bottle to herself but now that i come get my bottle after she done drunk up her bottle now she want to come drink up mine here now go on now 
Now look at you, gone. You got enough now. <laughs> What'd you say? Thank you. <laughs> I got it. Good. Okay. <laughs> All right. So look, y'all been waiting. Y'all been waiting on me to say this. Y'all, y'all actually been hounding me, begging me, right? And bullying me <laughs> to say something about the dodo birds as if I ain't already drugged them to hell already. Now y'all watched me sit up here and drag them for seven hours plus. And that wasn't enough for y'all. Then I came back and drug them for another three hours. And then another three hours on another video. I didn't drug them two clowns for at least 11 hours straight. And y'all <laughs> still want the dragon to continue. And clearly they want the dragon to continue because they keep doing something that they can't stop doing. And what's that, Priscilla? They can't stop being males. They can't stop being males. Doing exactly what I tell you they do. If you don't want nobody talking about you, then don't give nobody nothing to talk about. And you know what? They ass can't stop giving somebody something to talk about. So what happened? Something that happened all the time. Something that happened every day, 24-7 around the clock. All right? So what make this so different? What, does, what make this so different? Because they got microphones and they got sure SM7Bs, same one I got. They ass got the, the, this little microphone here that they put on their desk and then they do something that they ain't supposed to do. Because as a male, you're supposed to be seen and not heard. See, they told women they supposed to be seen and not heard. That's, that, that, that's a lie. Because ever since, ever since... Social media came out and that live button, that go live button and came out and the podcast game then opened up. They didn't gave men something that they ass should have never had. Rick James say they should have never gave you niggas money. No, they should have never gave you niggas microphones. OK, they should have never gave y'all microphones because as soon as you got microphones, you start saying all kind of stupid stuff. And exposing yourself. And some of these dodo bird women, even though they got bull horns right in front of their mouth, the, 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 the pick me women still act like they can't hear them. And the chick that flew over to Eddie, Eddie, what have you done for me lately? That's what she's saying. Fresh, fresh, what have you done for me lately? Because she ain't from America. See, I told y'all. <laughs> I told y'all I ain't even know what I was going to say. I told you it was just going to flow off the top of my head, didn't I? Had no clue. Eddie, fresh, what have you done for me lately? Because she ain't from America. She from across that water somewhere. And she thought she had her a high-value man. Hmm? If... You on TikTok, maybe you might have been inspired to come over here and check me out on YouTube, right? <laughs> come over to YouTube and check me out. Just type in the queen maker in the search bar and I'm going to pop right on up, okay? <laughs> All right? So I will see y'all when y'all get here because I'm going to get ready to drag the ass from here to Timbuktu. So if you want to go to Timbuktu, baby, come over here and hop on the train, because that's where we finna go tonight, all right? I'll see y'all. <laughs>
But clearly them folk caught that water don't even know. Because she was too, she was too good looking and too fit. Right? To be dealing with somebody that ain't fit to have no microphone in their mouth. She was too, she was the fresh and fit one. Her ass was really fresh and fit. And for some reason, she thought that they was equally yoked because they happened to just name they self fresh and fit. Now you really fresh and fit. Let's see, let's let's pull up a let's pull up a picture of this woman. Who he got pregnant? Who fresh got pregnant? Who fresh got pregnant? Now she really is look look at her. Now what's she doing dealing with the dodo bird? Let's see. Let's just go on ahead and get a copy of Miss Fresh and Fit. She with both of their ass wrapped in one. Go back here. Let's see. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see who we dealing with. <laughs> now that her. Now, clearly, she not from here. Because if she was, she'd have knew better. So you for sale, and you sell yourself to somebody who you got to call a brokey that you don't even let do nothing for you before you start letting them inside your body and all that, right? Now, why would, because I know good and damn well that you would not be dealing with this mushroom if it wasn't, if it wasn't for the idea of money. Did she even get any money out of him? Or did she just think he had money? Did she get him pussy on credit? Did she, did she really get him some punani on credit and put the shit on layaway? Did she let him put the peaches on layaway? Just to call, just to find out that I'm broke. I don't have no money. I don't have no money, honey. And I'm a deadbeat dad. I got to go test four other women, not just you. Don't tell me they dodo bird like that. Don't tell me these niggas flying overseas because they really are playing, paying pesos. Don't tell me these sucker flying overseas because they paying pesos in the American dollar and the market too high. And it, it really too high and they can get more bang for their book. Please don't tell me that's really the case. I'm just, I, listen, I don't even really know the full story, okay, about uh, what's really happening, okay? Because... How he, okay, how he texts that he ain't got no money, but so she, he so-called bought her a $30,000 ring. Let me ask you this question. I, I, I need y'all to think. I need y'all to think, and you put your think caps on, and really, really, because so, I'm reading the comments. Somebody say that she said that he bought her a $30,000 ring. Now, is she the one that, is she the one that exposed the text messages? I want, I want to know, here's the thing, if she exposed the text messages, why would she not type in the text message how you broke when you bought me a $30,000 ring? 
Or maybe she's not even that smart. How? How we know? I want to know about the bracelet. Y'all seen in the receipts? Have y'all seen in the receipts? I'm trying to figure out how we come to conclusions about something. How we know? I, I, because, you know, you know, Priscilla not in the social, in all the messy stuff. Priscilla got a bunch of stuff going on to be dealing in, in, in the messy hell that's going out on social media. But we talking about, uh, we talking about this tonight, right? That's not true. He put 15000 toward the bracelet. Did she show a receipt? How we know? That's all I want to know. Everybody's saying he did. I'm, I'm asking for a fact. Okay, so there are receipts. The bracelet was fake according to her. Okay, so if the bracelet was fake, okay, where's this, where's this $15,000, $30,000 discrepancy plus the fakeness, right? Okay, somebody say, yeah, she showed the receipt. And she could be trans. It's, it's possible because only trans be perfect. Only, only the trans woman be perfect. No blemishes. Tight ass, tight chest, tight body, and somehow with a tight punani that was manufactured from the ground up. They be the only ones that be super perfect. <laughs> in the face, in the hair, and everything else. So if possible, okay, right? I hear y'all saying there are... There are facts, but how y'all got the facts and all y'all saying different stuff, right? Facts don't change from person to person. Where the receipt, okay? And if he paid that, my question, my question is this. <laughs> if you going to expose text messages and this dude say, and this dude say that I ain't got no money. Why would she not respond how you ain't got no money and you paid $15,000 for no bracelet? No broke ass dude couldn't pay 15 grand for no bracelet. Like I'd have caught him all the way up. Yes. Okay. So great pills say. Yes, shown the actual proof. The first was fake. He spoke with him about the second was 30000 then went half on it, okay, with his credit card. So my question is this, because you got a fresh pregnancy from a dude that ain't fit to be no manosphere talking head. Because if the manosphere, if you got a microphone, if you got a stiff Peter Wacker that transmits sound from your soundboard to the computer all the way over the globe, okay, on the, on the web, okay, this solid Peter Wacker that's in your face, right? How the hell, how in all out hell, do you act, get to act like you the exception to the rule that I keep telling you that all these males try to act like they are and they behavior as if not, they, the main ones that be talking about not all males be the very male that they say that that they get mad at you for saying they are or men are why you can't show that you different? How you supposedly got four other chicks pregnant? And how you got dudes sitting up here backing up anything that these two clowns are saying when they clearly ain't get no play? You can tell the tall one ain't never get no play before he came up on this podcast shit. And fresh look like uh, one of them expired goddamn mushrooms. Y'all ever seen a mushroom go expired in the refrigerator? It turned real dark and it had a little shaped head. He looked like, he looked like a spoiled mushroom. Who the hell is fucking a spoiled mushroom without no damn money? Huh? 
Oh, yeah, we're going to talk about Myron's meltdown because he tried to act like he a, a real, a real, you know, NGA. But we know that you manufactured, you've been shipped from over that water, too. Right. Trying to pretend to be something that you ain't. Ain't now one of them fools get no play. And But here's my thing. Why everybody act like this news that males are being males, doing male shit, lying, fronting, boasting their ego just so that they can get in somebody underwear and act like they the prize. Well, you know, you know, I got to find the right one. You know, only the right one can get my heart. The motherfuckers are incapable of love, first and foremost. So this is game. All they want to do is keep dangling carrots in front of everybody's face while they get to mail out in front of everybody and behind the scenes and have a bunch of people listening to this dodo bird shit. What I have, I'm not surprised about nothing that males do. Let me tell you that the only thing that's going to surprise me about a male is being an upstanding, internally moral being that actually got self-discipline and hold other men accountable and check their motherfucking ass when they need to be checked. That would impress me. And he ain't on no simp shit. He on some real shit. That ain't the, that ain't not, that's 99% of them that ain't that. So I'm not surprised that males are deadbeat Lion snakes in the grass that have large egos that get out on the public and act like they some shit that they not. What I'm trying to find out is what woman keep buying this shit that they selling. We don't need to talk about males no more. We need to talk about you now. Why you keep acting like all of this shit is new? Why y'all keep selling y'all self? I don't care how much money it is. It ain't enough money. I found the clue. Good. It ain't enough to sit up here and sell yourself and then turn around and act like, act surprised and act like a victim. I don't want to kill the baby, which when she put that out there, that was her trying to play a manipulation game to put him on blast and try to create the narrative like he pushing back on her in a way. And when you listen to the recording, he ain't doing nothing but saying, OK, yeah, he told her to take the pill. But the, the little bit of recording that I heard is I don't want to kill the baby. You're trying to make me kill the baby. We don't do that in our culture. Why are you doing this? I'm going to keep it. He like, okay, well, you keep it. Ain't nothing I can do about it. I ain't got no, no money. Good luck with that. So what you thought it was going to be different? What you thought it was going to be different? Y'all still believe these things? You still let a nigga nut in you? You, you still can't see these dudes ain't shit regardless of what the fuck they say? <laughs> you let these dudes try to manipulate you and, and push you in the corner to take a chance on them just for them to show you they just like what I told you they are? Why you trusting these dudes? Why you sell? Because see, here's the thing. You sell yourself for money. You got, you got what you wanted. You got what you wanted. So are we trying to play a manipulation game to set them up to show that they, that they are who I already showed you they were? Who... Keep showing you every time they record a video who they are? Did you really need to go get pregnant to expose them when they already been exposed? What, I mean, what we doing? Right? See, but this is what I'm talking about. This is this the, this the mentality I'm talking about. You have a woman... 
in my comment section, I, I, I it rolled by so fast, I don't even know who said it. She after the money like she should. And then you wonder why the manosphere saying what the fuck they saying. Because all you care about is some money that you're going to spend on some bullshit. You're not even investing the money in anything that's going to multiply. See, you want some shit like jewelry. And you're going to bring a child into the world off of some bullshit like she should go for the money like she should. Y'all ain't fit to run no communities. You don't care who life you fuck up. You bring children into a fucked up situation and all you can think about is chasing dollars. You're not even thinking about the soul you got to develop. And then you wonder why they they point the finger at you because in reality, the finger should be pointed at you. Because guess who ain't got to carry the child? He don't. But you're going to try to make males be something that they ain't. And I keep showing you that they ain't. So now you go bring a child into the world with a, with a male that show you every day and been showing you for three, four years that they are not men. They are not men. They sit online all day bitching, whining and complaining and being irresponsible even online. And you go and impact the world by bringing in a life that you don't really want, that you're not going to really develop all because you're chasing a dollar. And somehow women think that that's logical. Chase the money. When you've been given a womb and then you wonder why the manosphere say you mismanage your womb and that somebody need to control you because you acting like somebody need to control you. You acting like somebody need to control you because you can't control yourself. And you don't care about the lives that you bring in money over life. Paper. That's losing value daily. Are we really talking about them? Or are we talking about the female mentality where they act like they ain't got no sense? You think that this, I don't really have nothing to say about fresh and fit because I didn't already drug them for 11 hours hours exposing them what else is it to say about the males that's gonna keep mailing when women gonna get their mind right and stop playing into the hands of the the illiterate the low level bottom feeders because that's what they are they bottom feeders When you going to stop bringing the lives, bringing lives into the planet all because of of materialism, letting bottom feeders into your body and affecting lives. And guess what? If she have a male child, it's women like that that do stuff like this, that'll turn around and say whatever men going through ain't your problem. How it ain't your problem. How it ain't your problem. How many of y'all done brought lives in here off of that behavior, off of that mentality? Hmm? How many of you have brought innocent lives into the world off of a mentality, just get your money or cheat back? Hmm? How many? How many of you brought children into the world because somebody bought you a Happy Meal. And we really, who put this mentality in you to say, yeah, that's what she should do. She should chase the money. Fuck the child, though. And then some of y'all got the, got the nerve to act like you pro-life. You act like you pro-life. 
You not pro-life, you pro-birth. Because once you bring the children here, you don't give a damn about them. Right? See, and you see what I mean, right? Right? See, what, what women want to hear, they want to hear, see, see, they want a platform. See, everybody just want entertainment. You want entertainment. Let's drag fresh and fit. But to be honest, what is there to drag them about? Because I didn't expose them already. I didn't expose them already. I went on their show and exposed them. I came back home, did a seven-hour live to expose them some more. Turned around and did another four-hour live to expose them some more. Then I did a three-hour live when I talked about all the charlatans, them included, exposed them some more. What else is there to say about them? Because they ain't doing nothing but what I told you they would do. So now where I'm at, now where I'm at is looking at the women who won't accept males for who they are and continue to behave in a way that impacts everybody and then act like you putting somebody on blast you not putting these males on blast the way you think you are this ain't no different than a woman fucking sucking on a male that's broke Ain't paying nothing in her house. Got him living with her. She catch him cheating just to try to expose him that you ain't paying no bills. I done washed your shitty drawers. Tell him how you don't wash your ass. Tell him how you don't pay no bills in the house. And you got the nerve to be cheating with your little dick. Ma'am, you, do you really think that you putting him on blast? Do you know how bad you look to have a shitty drawers, two inch dick cheating ass nigga in the house that ain't paying no bills do you do do why y'all think y'all putting these men on blast why y'all think you're making them look bad baby you making you look bad because the only purpose that a male actually have on the planet is to have sex to pass his genes along for you to continue to give the males these opportunities for nothing that says more about you than it do about him. And for you to bring a life into the world. I don't know why we still sitting up here acting like fresh and fit is some type of news. Because let me tell you something. The males ain't going to stop listening to them and they ain't going to change they damn position. They still going to act like they the pick of the litter. They still going to act like they ain't none of these dudes that I be talking about. So what are we still looking at? What we talking about? That's what I want to know. See, I'm not the content maker that just look for different stuff to talk about to try to go viral just to have some content because everybody that's talking about this this just content for them this is a oh, viral moment list man i'm about real change i'm about people changing their behavior their mindset start businesses and all this stuff i'm trying to figure out what y'all think it is really to talk about seriously because this ain't nothing but males being males. Nothing more, nothing less. If he got four other chicks pregnant, why are y'all surprised? How many women did your baby daddy get pregnant? Hmm? How many women did the nigga that you sleeping with get pregnant? 
How many families did your daddy create? Why are we acting like this new? Because men been delusional since the beginning of time. They always think that they something they not. They are, they are, they speak with a forked tongue. Always have. Always will. They will always not me. It's just the men you chose. Even though the women that chose them showed that you the one that they chose. You in that goddamn category. But let them tell it. They, why are we sitting up here acting like psychologically mentally ill people are news? These males have a mental illness and the women that entertain them are just as mentally ill. I'm sorry. I'm an educational show and I'm 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 actually trying to make a, a real impact on society. This is not just content for me. I, I, this is not a comedy show. Yeah, every now and then you get some comedy, but I'm for real about this. What? What is it? Because you have to say yes to sex, ladies. The red pill and the manosphere is not lying when they say that you have to consent and say yes to sex. Outside of brutality and grape, all the rest of this is your consent. Why are you consenting for a fucking watch? Why are you consenting to bring a life onto the planet for a damn watch? Or a bracelet. And then if you another ethnicity. Don't think that. That the psychological program. Of racism. The philosophy of racism. Ain't in these children. So when you have a biracial child. With a dusty. That's the lowest. On the low on the totem pole. How you think. That child is going to be treated. By your culture. So you don't even care about the child being abused by people who don't like the genetics that you chose to bestow upon that soul or that child. But you going to do it for a fucking bracelet. And then you mad because the manosphere Keep saying this about you, but where is the lie? See, I'm cool. I, I stand on the truth. And if, as long as it's the truth, I can't deny it. I'm not going to fight against that which is true. How y'all mad at the shit that's true? Why are you consenting to sex and bringing a child onto the planet for three hundred dollars, the idea of a fantasy world, a bracelet, a chicken McNugget, potential that ain't there. Why are you deciding to destroy the lives of unborn souls for bullshit like that? And then when they talk about the state of the world, you having a hand in it and not wanting to take responsibility for the hand that you got in it, you want to get mad. But I'm trying to figure out where is the lie about the responsibility that's on you. I'm trying to figure out where is the lie. Remember, decentralization of men is the first step. What you think the second step is, right? Finding your part in the equation. That's the second step to this rehabilitation of society. I'm a social reformer. I'm not just a content creator. 
I'm a social reformer. The hand that women play in this. Let me tell you something. You're not responsible for the program that they force indoctrinated you with. You didn't create this mental program. You didn't rob, kill, steal, pillage, grape, and enslave nobody to create a world like this. You was a victim of that. That ain't your fault. But we now in the age of Aquarius, where information, where the veil is being lifted and the truth is being exposed. To maintain a state of delusion in the face of truth is a problem. To maintain a state of delusion in the face of truth is a problem. You don't get to stay delusional once the truth has been put in your face. See, now when you decide to reject the truth, now it's on you. Now it's on you. Because now you can't say that you didn't know. Back then you didn't know. You was totally ignorant. You wasn't responsible for the programming. But now you can be deprogrammed and you can accept the truth once it has been shown to you. When you decide to reject the truth, you become 1000% accountable and responsible for everything that you do. Now, after the decentralization of men, that process teaching you the truth about men, which I've taught you for two years, we got to move to the next level of personal accountability for the hand that you have in this as a woman. Why are you selling your body to males who have been shown to be incapable of rising to a place or to a level that would reward them the benefit of passing their genes along. We got to start looking at other people and situations and start finding how we can make better decisions. How we can make better decisions because we look at third party situations to learn something from it. Yeah, it would be cool to just sit up here and kiki ha ha and laugh about uh, fake and fraud. That's cool. That's what everybody doing. But you know what? That just keep you in a cycle of delusion because. Crazy people feed off of this insanity because it's the same thing. Remember, doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result is the definition of insanity. How long are you going to continue to believe that men are anything different than what they have shown you for centuries? For centuries. And we keep acting like this is news. No, baby, it's time to start looking at a different angle. You can't say you don't know now. I took that away from you after teaching you about men for two years and dragging all of these men, every last one of them I didn't talk to and exposing them. I've exposed every male's thought process whom I ever talked to. I ain't, not, I ain't been talking to none of them. different men from different backgrounds, economic fields, different races, ethnicities. I didn't talk to all these dudes and they have all shown to hold the same core belief, which is male dominated. They all show to have to be the same type of person, just at different degrees with the same foundational Thought process, all of them, every last one of them that I talked to. And y'all see it. So the question now becomes, 
if you really accept, as I done showed you, that there is a cap on men. If there's a cap on men, we now have to start looking at the women because it ain't nothing else that you can say about them or do for them. They not going to change. I keep showing you they're not going to change. You think they going to learn from this and change their behavior? They probably jumped right in the bed with a new chick right after Myron's fucking meltdown. Right after his meltdown, they both probably went and screwed somebody else without a condom. You know why that was possible? Because remember when they put the dudes in the room for 30 minutes with no sound and no nothing and brought them out 30 minutes after that and they asked them, what was you thinking? Sex, sports, or nothing? We, we ain't think about nothing. Just And the man said, and you want to know what's interesting about women? This is so interesting. This is what he said. This is so interesting. Women was reviewing conversations that they had in the last couple days. He said, now let me tell you straight up. No man in the history of the species has ever reviewed a conversation that they had. So what that mean? What that mean? That mean after Myron's meltdown, they ass ain't think about this shit no more. And they went and fucked somebody else without a condom that very same night or the next day. That what that mean? So you not going above that. That's the cap. The male is the male is naturally handicapped. He naturally special ed. The male is naturally special ed. And I done showed you that a million times. Why y'all still believe in these motherfuckers? That's what I'm trying to... Why y'all still believe in them? Why y'all think it's news to sit up here and make fun of special ed people? Y'all sitting up here, Priscilla, talk about fresh and fit. Ma'am, I don't bully. I don't bully special ed kids. Why y'all want me to bully special ed kids? That's not right. They handicap. They handicap. Why y'all ain't accept these men as handicapped yet? Why y'all ain't accept the men as special ed? You know why? Because somewhere deep in your soul, you still think that they adult men. No, they not, baby. They not. You want y'all want to hear y'all want to see how special Ed Myron is? Y'all want to sit up here and watch his damn breakdown? How he break down? <laughs> Listen, let, let me let me the, the, let me show you how special Ed these motherfuckers are. They so damn special Ed. How old is Myron? That nigga thirty something. He close to my age. They was on there calling me auntie like they ass wasn't a year away from my goddamn age. We the same damn age. This was last year. Tell me why in Myron's meltdown, did his, the way he was talking about the audience, you know his insult to the audience? Myron's insult to the audience. <sighs> Nobody gives a damn about you jellyfish, SpongeBob SquarePants in the living in a pineapple as the, who insults somebody talking about SpongeBob and a fucking pineapple? Nobody but a special ed motherfucker. Nobody but a special ed motherfucker. You 37, 36 years old talking about a pineapple and SpongeBob SquarePants as your insult to the audience. So let's pull up his let's pull up his rant as if he mad that he didn't get pregnant by Fresh. Eh? Right? 
Priscilla, can you please bully these special ed men for... No, ma'am. <laughs> you don't bully the special needs. This is 2024. This is anti-bully. Myron Gaines meltdown. We got to watch this together. Nobody but a goddamn taller. <laughs> jellyfish, nigga. Jellyfish. <laughs> now watch this temper tantrum. Uh, they talked to her on. If you want more context, go watch that. Yeah, you her. Stupid. Yo, that nigga went in. I'm, but granted, he answered all questions. Yeah. Why this? Why that? Why are you doing this? And it's apparent what the real motive is, but that's all I'll say. Yeah, shout out yeah. to Destiny, man. Shout out to Destiny, man. Uh, and, uh, you know what's funny? Yeah. He's not, he's not even my friend. We get criticized. We get criticized for, oh, well, you guys are loyal to people who are your friends, etc. Look at it paying it back, back in di dividends. Right? Yeah. Like, Destiny don't agree with us. He didn't have to do that, but he fucking shut on her anyway. It was fucking fantastic. It was awesome. <laughs> so fucking, it was fantastic. But attack them when they're down and everything else like that or trying to get a gotcha moment or any of this other crap. They fucking respect you for that shit, especially in this in this realm in YouTube where everyone's a fucking Bernard uh, Riley. Yeah. Oh, OK. All right. Walter, that man in front of you is a true friend. The man is defending you left and right after tonight's shows. I want to take the man and go buy him an ice cream and get him a nice balloon. Oh, That's from Punisher. I appreciate that, bro. I mean, you know, it really bothers me when people talk shit about my right friends, bro. Like, I don't get it. Like, it really does fucking piss me off when the when the Andrew Tate allegations came out. Fucking piss me off. Um, oh, when shit. people talk shit about Fresh. Gets me fucking mad. When people talk shit about Sneeko, etc. If you're my friend, you're my friend. I'm with you regardless of whether it's convenient or not. You fucking pussies in the chat that say, you're married, you're loyal to a fault. Shut the fuck up. That does not exist in my fucking vocabulary, loyal to a fault. Because you're loyal regardless. The whole definition of loyal is being loyal and sticking by somebody, whether it's convenient or not, to fucking be there. I don't believe in this term, loyal to a fault. Okay? And if the fault is death, death, guess what? I die with a fucking spine. A lot of you motherfuckers are jellyfish. No fucking spine. And that's the reason why a lot of you motherfuckers are fat, triple chin, neck bearded, pieces of shit, fucking dorks with no money, and no one fucking respects you. Because you motherfuckers don't stand for nothing. If I stand with fresh, I die with fresh. It is what it is. Okay? It is what it is, you motherfuckers. Oh, shit. It's getting shaky. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. I got 20... Fucking real estate properties so I can tell motherfuckers, fuck you. My net worth is over six fucking million. And I get money residually. I don't fucking need to do this shit and I don't need to fucking sell my soul. I still. What, what the fuck? First of all, what the hell are you talking about? What you talking about? I, I, out of nowhere. You know, you know, on, uh, the only person that got to do that is a motherfucker with a little bitty Peter Wacker. Lil Dicky. Lil Dicky, right? You trying to act like you tough and you let them white boys that you went to college with or whoever handle your ass. You let them white boys handle your ass. You, you hugged all up on them. They were, they, were, they were ramming you. And now you act like you some type of gangster and you sound like some country ass dude trying to to sound rough and tough. And then you looking off to the side in the camera, you either looking at the screen so you can see yourself because you keep looking to the side or you looking at somebody to get some validation and say, yeah, 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 keep going, man. Keep going. Keep saying that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sound tough to the motherfucker. That right. <laughs> you big, you big, you rough and tough. This sucker's a whole clown. Little, only a little bit of people. I got six million dollars and I got 20 million. I got 20 real estate properties. So I can tell you, fuck you. Who you talking to? Because ain't nobody said nothing in the comment that it triggered you like that. They was actually giving a compliment and then you just run off into 
into the wilderness with this rent. But that ain't the end of it. Look how, look how he get emotional. Males are so emotional. You don't want to be around. You don't want to be in no relationship with this dude. Because this sucker going to throw a temper tantrum and haul off and hit you in your mouth. Right? This sucker here is a straight up dodo buster clown my fucking friends period all right some of you motherfuckers need to get a fucking spawn you jellyfish spongebob in a fucking pineapple house pieces of shit who 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 insults somebody like that who what kind of insult is that y'all want to hear this insult? what kind of insult is that look at this some some people it was 400 people in here did some of y'all get kicked out because I want y'all to hear this. Come back. Come back. Listen to this. Listen to this. Who insults somebody? SpongeBob in the pineapple house. Jellyfish. All right? Some of you motherfuckers need to get a fucking spawn, you jellyfish SpongeBob in the fucking pineapple house. Pieces of shit. It pisses me off how soft all you motherfuckers. I keep telling you, they naturally special ed. That is, that's a kindergarten, that, that is a, that's a kindergarten insult. That's not an adult male insult. So you know what that tell me? That tell me that he used to get bullied in school and he ain't know how to defend himself. That tell me People used to make jokes about him and he ain't never learned how to defend himself. Because see, when you go to a black school, so he clearly went to a white school and somewhere else. He, he, he never went to no black school. Because you go to a black school and you get roasted, your ass better learn how to roast back. Because your ass is going to be like a fucking rotisserie chicken. And everybody going to be feeding on your ass if you don't know how to roast back. That nigga don't know how to roast back. He do not know how to roast back. Because who the fuck? If he was in a rap battle, they would have said, boo. Or it would have just been quiet. SpongeBob in the pineapple house jellyfish. Yeah. Yeah, this nigga, this motherfucker lame. <laughs> this motherfucker lame. Motherfuckers are, bro. It's ridiculous. You motherfuckers ever stepped in the gym in three weeks trying to tell me how to fucking be lost to my fucking friends. I what the... What the heck, what does going to the gym have to do with loyalty? You can be fat and loyal. You can have high blood pressure and loyal. Be loyal. This sucker ain't got nothing else to show for what he think he know besides his little six pack. I'm fit. I go to the gym. That's why I know you can't tell me about loyalty. I go to the gym. Y'all got a double chin. Y'all got a double chin. And so what? So what? Maybe I have some pieces of a man weave because I got a ball. I got a ball spot in the back of my head. But who else don't wear weave? Right? I could put a little bit of glue here and then get a haircut and let it blend in. But anyway, that's besides the point. I know you can't be loyal because you don't have a six pack. I got a six pack. That's why I know I'm loyal. And that's why I know I can tell you more than you could ever tell me. Like, that's his logic. That's his logic. And y'all really sitting up here taking these fools seriously. Going anywhere. All right? I'm tired of you motherfuckers. Leave fresh. Leave fresh. He's only dead. He's only dead. Well, fuck you. All right? I don't need to make a fucking cent off this fucking podcast. I'm fine. My real estate will take care of me because I knew that if I want to say what the fuck I want to say and not sell my soul, I need to go ahead and build. build. What, what they got to do with selling your soul? What this got to do with selling your soul? What does Fresh's irresponsibility have to do with you selling your soul? Nothing. You know what? They say the loudest the loudest wagons, the emptiest wagons make the loudest noise. The emptiest wagons make the loudest noise. 
He's so empty on the inside that all he can reference is outside stuff. I got a six pack. I got a I got a chiseled jawline, and I got twenty properties and six million dollars. You can't tell me nothing because I'm a high value man. I'm a high value man. These suckers are clowns, and I'm trying to figure out who is even selling themselves to them. Income coming in every fucking month, so I can sit here and tell you fucking haters, fuck you. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna say what the fuck I want to say, and I don't give a fuck what anybody gotta say. I cannot be bought. I have my soul. I have my. What is he talking about? What is he talking about being bought? And I, I don't get it, cause that comment didn't trigger this. Fine. I have my integrity. I got my ten toes and my two feet, and I fucking stand where the fuck I'm gonna stand. And if I die there, I'll die there with a smile on my face, cause I can look in the fucking mirror and be happy with the man that I see. You pussy motherfuckers. You fucking losers that sit there and say. Huh. Y'all, y'all see his eyebrows, y'all. Y'all see he got that one eyebrow that go up like the rock. You see that one goddamn eyebrow? That motherfucker really do look crazy and insane. Y'all know uh, Uncle Ruckus on uh, Boondocks, how he was fat and his bulged eyes, and he had that, that one eyebrow that was uncombed and unbrushed up there like that with the eyes popping out his head. That what he looked like. He looked just like that. Hey, look, look, just take it back just a second. Just a tad bit. You look at it. You see that? Why his eyebrow go up there like that? Right? See, motherfucker. Motherfuckers. Motherfuckers. Who cursed like that? You motherfucker. That how you know a motherfucker ain't bad about it. You motherfucker. First of all, if you put a hard R on that shit, we know you don't know how to fight. If you put a hard R on motherfucker, we know your ass don't know how to fight. Myra can't fight, y'all. He is a professional temper tantrum throw. You can look at him and tell he don't know how to fight. Fucking losers that sit there and say, oh, it's getting rocky, Myron. You should leave. Why do you stay by Stinko? Do you stay by the Tate? Do you still think they're going to be Chris is the idiot. Why are you still there? Chris drinks too much. Hey, 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 so L -l Listen to this high-pitched high -pitch voice. <laughs> This sucker, something is really wrong with this. How, how, ladies, how does your punani get wet for this nigga? How, I don't give a damn. And then what I'm talking about. Some of y'all act like, I'm just, I'm so heterosexual. I ain't messing with nobody I ain't attracted to. Y'all selling pussy to me and y'all really ain't attracted to. Bitch, do this, do this, do this get you dripping wet? Did it drip? Did it get you dripping wet? Huh? It did what y'all attracted to? Because y'all sl y'all sleeping with these dudes for money. Who getting wet for this clown? This is a five-year-old in an adult male body. That's a five-year-old. Fuck up! That's why no one respects you motherfuckers, because you don't stand for anything. If there's anything you guys can learn from this fucking podcast, learn this. We've been through hell together. We had people come at us. We've had death threats at us. People will fucking laugh at every time we fucking go through some bullshit. People make allegations on us. People have tried to absolutely fucking destroy us. And you know who was around me the whole fucking time? These fucking guys. These guys. So he pointed over there with that... that the, the screen that I told you might have been, because he kept, every time he was talking, he just kept looking to the side like he was trying to get validation from somebody. So it was either 
the screen where he was so he could look at himself or it was somebody standing over there. So he kept looking over there to get their validation so he could feel tough. Cause he pointed at the dude that's over there by this by the screen that I thought was over there. You looking at somebody for validation. It was either that or boosting your ego on ego by looking at yourself through a temper tantrum. These suckers are clowns. You catch them on the street, they ain't gonna do nothing but act like a straight up bitch. But he be the main one talking about you need men to protect you. You ain't finna protect nobody. You can't even protect yourself. I can look at it all in your damn body language. You can't even protect. Nigga, you scared of men. You too damn tall to be scared of men. If I ain't know no better, I would think you were scared of Fresh. I think Fresh can beat his ass. And you know how short Fresh is? Myra can't fight, y'all. So you motherfuckers can say whatever the fuck you want to say. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stand by the guys that stand by me. Because you fucking pieces of shit are fucking there when I'm going through it. You pieces of shit are fucking there when I'm fucking figuring out what the fuck I'm going to do. Yeah, yeah, somebody asking me compassion for these. Y'all don't know what compassion means. I just told you that males are naturally handicapped. They born with IEP. They born at the wall, they born with IEPs, and they ass can't do better. Yeah, I feel sorry for them that they ass stuck and, and, and they can't be helped. They can't even help themselves, right? It just is what it is. Do that mean that I help their ass? No, they got a mental impediment and a mental illness. This is what happens when you give a mentally ill person a microphone. They mentally ill. They desperate for validation because they have no internal value. And because they so desperate for that, this is what they do. Let's look at it for what it really is, not how you feel about it. I don't base my assessments on how I feel. I base my assessments on what is. This is a mental illness. This is a lack of purpose. This is a lack of knowledge of self. This is desperation for some place on planet Earth. This is what you do when you are born with nothing on the inside. You born to be broken. And if you can make it as a male to something, you feel like you didn't accomplish something. You feel like the world owe you something. So you throw temper tantrums because you deep down you got animosity. Deep down you resent the world around you because you're empty broken males hey man you can break a boy as young you can break a boy a week after you bring him in the, to the planet you can break them for life they so fragile males are fragile extremely fragile and then guess what it's a whole bunch of them here. And guess what that means? That means competition is increased and they life get harder and harder and they not neurologically or psychologically equipped to compete in such a competitive world like this on a mental level. So a lot of these dudes, when they make it, a lot of these dudes got lucky to be able to just say anything and get attention on a podcast because they ain't never had no attention in their life. This, this is somebody you can tell. This is somebody who grew up without attention, without real validation, having it hard, trying to do what they're biologically designed to do. Seek opportunities to mate. That's what they buy. Like, and they have a hard time with that throughout their life. And as a result, of life being so difficult for a male, this is what you get or you produce when you finally give them something that they really don't even earn. You just gave them a nugget. This is a mental illness.
because we got demonetized. You motherfuckers weren't there when everyone and their fucking mom came at us. You motherfuckers weren't there when I got the false accusation against me. You motherfuckers weren't there when this bitch lied and said that I got her pregnant when I fucking did it. And then you dumbasses, three years later, believe some bitch that makes the same fucking allegations. I look, look y'all are fragile. The Y'all, males have the highest suicide rates. You have the highest homeless rates. You have the highest mental health issues. Y'all are fragile. Stop trying to pretend that y'all strong when you not. Y'all weak. You're mentally and emotionally weak. You're fragile. And the majority of y'all ain't even physically fit either. And you only stronger by default, just because stronger than the physically stronger than the female by default, just by testosterone alone. But y'all ain't even healthy. You're not even healthy. Your organs are weaker. You're neurologically weaker. Every aspect of being a male is weakness in comparison to a woman. Y'all ain't fit. And this is why y'all have mental illnesses like the one we sitting up here watching. This is a mental illness. Done. You fucking idiots. Now let that have been a woman. She emotional. But he just being a man. So anger and losing control of yourself, that's just what men do. He just passionate. This is a mental illness. Lied and said that I got her pregnant when I fucking did it. And then you dumbasses, three years later, believe some bitch that makes the same fucking allegations again. You fucking idiots. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right fucking here. Just like a toddler, right? Sitting up here breaking shit, right? This what men do. So if if he can break this, y'all y'all saw. Did I show y'all? Did y'all did I show y'all the males? I know I did on TikTok. Let me show you. Let me pull up my, let me pull up my um, screen flow real quick. Let me show you something. Males are unhinged. They don't have impulse control, right? Okay, that's the one I want to see right here. Let's pull that file. Let's watch this. Open Poodle Mail. All right, let's check this out. These dudes 
dudes are out of control. They out of control. They don't have impulse control. This this what they do. Where is this other one? I don't understand why all of this is all over the place. I can't see. I can't see most of this stuff because I can't see where it's at. This all they do is brutalize things. All these, uh, every last one of these dudes, every last one of these dudes. Let's pull this one out the way. Look at this one. Look at this one. You don't throw a pass when you have Marshawn Lynch. Damn, where is that? Where is that one? You don't throw a pass when you got Marshawn Lynch. Which one is this? Destroyed TV after loss. Let's pull that one up. All right? Because that, all that's out of order. Let me show you. They just all keep doing this shit. All of them just do this shit. Fuck no. Fuck no, dog. Fuck no, dog. Man, what the fuck? How the fuck Curry gonna come back from that? What the fuck? Who the fuck get the ball? Don't do this to me, dog. Come on, man. I got too much money on this game, dog. Too much money on this game. y'all <laughs> these suckers act like you make a male mad enough and then listen to me listen to me because myron is acting just like this you just saw myron do this baby it don't take nothing right and this is why when a man do something to a woman the first thing they always want to say well what she do to him baby it don't take nothing it don't take nothing Come on, Bron. Come on, Bron. Come on, Bron. Go! No! No! Bro, bro, calm down. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, Kenny! Calm down! Relax, it's just a game! It's just a game! Oh my god!
What are you doing? This how you, this how you get abused. In a, this how you get in the. This is how you get abused in the house, ladies. This right here. Males do not have impulse control. You just sat up there and watched Myron break something. And then you wonder how your face get broken. You wonder how your jaw get broken. And you sit up here and be talking and talking any kind of way to these males. I done showed you what testosterone do to these males when they emotions get high. Once it get high, a lot of times they just black out and do shit. The winner by split decision from the United Kingdom. Oh. Are you Oğlum elektrik var. Duman çıkıyor. Fişi çıkart lan. Fişi çıkart lan. Ne Oh my god. Bro you're wild. <gülüyor> You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's a bumble! <laughs> <laughs> thing, man. Man! <laughs> man! Man, that shit pissed me off, man. That, you, you hear what he say? That shit pissed me off. Ladies. Y'all don't even realize what type of danger you're in when you be going back and forth with a man. Because you piss them off enough, they'll lose control and they'll pop you just like they do in these TVs. And you know, because you see women's faces, you see how women getting beat up, right? I saw a woman, I saw a, 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 a Facebook reel today. Of some people that was in a house upstairs recording their neighbor. She got into it with her boyfriend and he was looking for her and she was hiding on top of the roof. And he had a baseball bat in his hand looking for her so he could beat her with that goddamn bat. Y'all better stop playing and thinking this shit funny. Because it ain't. You think this just over a game? Stop no, baby. baby. Yeah. Yes, yes, baby. He ain't getting in there. He ain't getting in there. Do you really think the man is back in there? You know what I'm saying? What? He ain't getting in there, baby. Look at that. That's that number one defense right there, baby. Number one defense. Nobody wants to hear you. Let's go. Let's go. Ego game. Let's go, baby. Let's get this ball back. Third and go. Third and go, baby. Let's go. Whoa. Let's go, baby. Let's stop him, baby. Number one defense, baby. Let's go. Oh, hell. Let's go. Damn, what the hell? what the hell was that? Males are emotional. Don't sit up here and let them tell you that they logical. These males are emotional AF. They are overgrown toddlers. Now let you keep a car after you didn't had a, after they done had a baby on you, infected you with an STD, or you caught them cheating or some shit, and they'll call you emotional. They break TVs and throw temper tantrums and throw shit on the floor and break it. He, what what you talking about? I mean, he just broke a TV. He could buy another one. Stop listening to these delusional ass males who have all the justifications for their own behavior and act like men and then call you a bitch. You act like a bitch. Listen, men are emotional. Women don't do this. It's a common joke that when women get mad, they go in the house and speed clean. A man get mad, everybody get fucked up. A man gets mad and everybody dies. A woman get mad, she go and speed clean. The whole house get cleaned up. 
But he say they he say y'all emotional. But look at their emotion. Look what they do when they emotional. Look what they do when they get angry. This the one I was looking for. You don't throw a pass when you have Marshawn Lynch. What was that? You do not throw a pass at the goal line when you have Marshawn Lynch. That's the game. I fucking had it, bro. <laughs> Look at this crap, baby. This sucker ain't got no draws on, and he up here crying, and he didn't win a got a ladder. Look at this. I fucking had it. I fucking had it. Fuck you. Fuck you, Pittsburgh. Seriously. These suckers are emotional and they will tell you you the emotional one. Look at this. Look at them. Myron just did the same thing that these males up here doing. And guess who these clowns listen to? Guess who these clowns that you going back and forth listen to? They listen to nutcases like Fresh and Fit. Overly emotional adult toddlers who are who got natural psychological impediments look this sucker then went and grabbed a knife and is stabbing the television if you make him mad to, the, to this point, girl, what would he grab on you? That last dude grabbed a damn uh, ladder. The dude before that had a doggone cane. This dude got a knife. All of them used their fists to punch them TVs and they breaking them. And you think you safe? You think you safe around this? Now, if a game can do this, ladies, if a game can do this, what you think a man going to do if he catch you, if he catch you cheating in his house? Why y'all think crimes of passion was created? Crimes of passion is a law or a loophole to diminish the the sentences on men for killing killing you or going off on you because they take their nature into consideration. If a man catch you and you can make boil his blood enough, he going to respond on you the same way. This is where crimes. This is why crimes of passion was created for men. Don't let no man tell you he ain't emotional. Don't let that t don't, stop listening to these dudes and believe your own eyes. Why you got so many videos of men punching TVs? <coughs> DV rates are high for a reason because you the TV.
Now, there's a detail in all of these videos that I that y'all ain't paid attention to. There's one minor detail in every last one of these videos that y'all ain't paid attention to. When they beat these TVs up, y'all notice that they're surrounded by other men. The other men are pretty cool, calm, and collected as if ain't nothing even really happened. The majority of the videos with men in the background as the man is killing the TV, they laugh. And they be like, damn, that's the game, man. Chill, man. They laugh. Why you think these men don't take you getting knocked in your mouth so seriously? You know why? Because men know that this is their nature. You, they want to lead you to believe that they some type of logical protectors. Baby, they violent. And if you, if you step on the wrong trigger, you might get triggered. You might be the TV that they lose their shit on. <laughs> y'all see this? Did y'all did y'all did y'all just did y'all just see that? Did y'all just see that? Not only did he beat the TV up. He pulled out a gun and blasted the TV. Did y'all see that? He pulled out a gun and blasted the TV. Y'all sitting up here thinking this funny. Baby, this ain't funny. Because how many women are dead? That's just it. Yep. He pulled out a gun and shot the TV multiple times. There's going to be holes everywhere. There's going to be blood everywhere from me. There's going to be destruction. Hell will unleash if the fucking Redskins beat a 6 and 1 Cowboys team. Jason Garrett's shitting a brick right now. No. Damn. I don't give a fuck. I'll break it. to be grown men logical leaders and protectors throwing temper tantrums like two-year-old children like throwing temper tantrums taking out guns shooting the television grabbing knives stabbing the tvs look at the domestic violence rate forget what these old dusty ass males in the comments want to say because they nature is put on what you saying what the fuck it look like I'm saying? Look at you niggas. Look at you. You the problem. You always been the problem with your violent, irresponsible, low-level asses. And you want somebody to be around you. You talk about the, the rise of single lonely men, men being lonely. But who the fuck want to be around you like this? You can't control yourself. You belong in a fucking barn. 
away from society. That's where you belong. You don't belong in the house. You're destructive. You destroy everything you put your hands on. You better fucking get it! Pilo's gone already, yeah. Pilo's gone. You better fucking get it! Can we save the beer caps? <laughs> put them on the bucket, 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 put them without you tearing it up over something silly as a damn game. What if you make him mad? Because you cheating. Or you talking too much, talking back and making him angry. What? How, how you think he going to go off? Do you know? You don't know. That's the reason why Kevin Samuels told that girl. Y'all don't know how to hush your mouth. Because when men are talking to other men, we recognize that it's a low level threat of violence. Kevin Samuels let you know that we know that it's a threat of violence between men. Look at them. I read the studies to you. You just saw this temper tantrum that Myron threw. Look at all this happening look at these unhinged males and you wonder why they pushing women on train tracks killing them punching them in the face i showed you and i told you why this is happening some reason women act like this ain't their problem oh yes it is baby oh yes it is Look at the kids. Look how he doing this with the kids. The kids screaming, the wife screaming. He done knocked the TV down, broke it, took a baseball bat, beating that while the kids screaming. And that ain't stopped him. That ain't stopped him. y'all this ain't a this ain't a game if you could choose to be any creature in the animal kingdom this ain't a game y'all that real that's real the question i have is why are women not seeing this as how men are and you still have children with them you still in their face patronizing their existence. 
onto it. You piece of shit are fucking there when I'm fucking figuring out what the fuck I'm gonna do because we got demonetized. You motherfuckers weren't there when everyone in their fucking mom came at us. You motherfuckers weren't there when I got the false accusation against me. You motherfuckers weren't there when this bitch lied and said that I got a pregnant when I fucking did it. And then you dumbasses, three years later, believe some bitch that makes the same fucking allegations again. You fucking idiots. When males get angry, them testosterone levels rise, right? Listen, this be a real increase in anger and behavior. But let them tell it they logical. These males are not logical. They're irrational, emotional toddlers with no use of their mental faculties. And they will lead you to believe that women are the emotional ones because women know how to express their emotions in a healthy manner. The males do not. They lack communication skills. They don't know how they feel. And the only thing that they the only emotion they know how to express is anger. They're emotionally unintelligent. They literally suffer from a mental illness. I'm not going anywhere. I'm standing right fucking here. All right? These guys are women. And this is who we didn't this is who we've centered the world around. We centered the world around males. The thing about these videos, it wasn't just black males. Baby, it was all it was all types of races of men in here, all over the all over the globe, all type of ethnicities. It wasn't just black men. That's why you can't sit up here and be like my message is about black men. No the fuck it ain't. It's about men. Men, regardless of their ethnicity, regardless of their race, regardless of their age, regardless of their skin color, regardless of their religious background, a male is a male. Period. Darkest times? I'm not gonna fucking leave them in their darkest times. Fuck you, motherfuckers. I got my real estate, I got my money, I'm fine. I'm not going anywhere. I can't be bought. That was real. Look at him. Fresh, fresh don't ever get excited. That's fresh. That's fresh demeanor for everything. That's Fresh's demeanor for everything. I, I done seen Fresh so cool, calm, and collected so many times in so many different situations. I can't even imagine this dude acting like Myron Act. Fresh is like that all the time. He was like that when I went there. He's like that practically all the time. He was like that when he was talking to the chick. He just sit there like that. Man, that's real. I don't see this fool get excited. If you can show me him getting excited, I would love to see that because I ain't seen it yet. But we see this dude losing his shit all the time. Remember when he had the hoochie daddy shorts and he was crying? We got demonetized. Remember the hoochie daddy shorts? And I told him, how you going to be crying in hoochie daddy shorts? That was real talk from the heart. Um, w, w. Myron, uh, you broke the glass. And maybe the TV. Okay. Wow. Ironically, you break a TV just like the rest of these dudes that broke TVs. They emotional. Stay away from these dudes. Every day a woman losing her life behind these dudes. They keep showing you who they are. So I'm trying to find out why we acting surprised. When the women going to start to take initiative and move different? That's what I want to know. When y'all going to start moving different? When we going to start having a different conversation? Can we get the likes up? Can we get the likes up? 
I don't know what it's because I don't know what else to tell y'all because it really ain't after all the stuff that I have told you. I don't know what else to say. Now y'all just need to start accepting the truth and start different because you bring in lives into this planet. You bring in lives onto this planet by your decision making. Having sex for money ain't it. Having sex for a car ain't it. You're bringing a soul here who who is going to be affected. They either going to cause chaos on the planet, they're going to contribute to the destruction, or they're going to be the solution to the problem. Who you bringing here? Why are you making the decisions and the choices that you're making? Because you the woman, you got the womb. You think them males finna change? They don't even have the ability to control their own damn impulses. It take an it take all their willpower to control themselves. And you want to put the responsibility of governing the world on their shoulders, girl? What what is you talking about? They not equipped to do that. They not equipped to do that. And as as prices continue to rise, because gas prices going up now, right? Food prices going up. These dudes are withdrawing from working. They flood in the country with immigrant males, competitive age. Y'all think you safe? You know how much pressure that is? on the males who not wired you know what they do when they under extreme amounts of pressure baby they take people out they don't just take themselves out they take people out my book club had posted my book club posted a screenshot of a dude he was a white man and he was telling his friend that he was finna start killing women and he was gonna meet them on dating apps and lured them on dating maps, and he was going to start killing them. And he was going to start with his ex first. If you really care about your life, you will start to take this stuff seriously and stop living with your head in the clouds and still think that you live in a world that was in the 90s or the early 2000s, baby. That ain't the world you're living in. You can't do, you can't, you can't walk around here like, I'm just going to get me a unicorn. I'm just going to play men for their money. Yeah. I'm going to have babies. It's time for you to start acting like you got some sense. Why can't they just unalive themselves? I don't want no pizza. Go on, go eat the pizza by yourself. You wanted the pizza, I don't want the pizza. Why can't they just unalive themselves? Why are you trying to reason with somebody that ain't got nothing to lose? Why would you think they would unalive themselves when the perception on reality is that other people are causing their problems? Why would they unalive themselves? Because everybody is complicit in creating a world that is destructive for males. Everybody's complicit in it. So why wouldn't a male look at the world and be like, you caused my problems. I'ma just take myself out when he feel like you got a hand in it, right? So if you've been listening to me break down the neurological and biological makeup of a male and and you watched how much pressure is on males if you watched me show you this and you watched me show you how women's delusional thinking adds additional pressure on to men because y'all doing it unconsciously you would understand why men don't just take themselves out right you would understand why they don't just take themselves out. And if you don't want to inadvertently have a hand in it, you better wake up and realize how you contributed to this problem. If you don't want to wake up unalived, right? 
you better start waking up and realizing how you're complicit in the issues that men are having. Because if you don't, you'll walk around here acting like you ain't did nothing and that you innocent when in actuality you're really not. You don't know that you're doing things. And I'm trying to make you aware so that you can protect yourself. This ain't about pointing the finger. This is about making you aware so that you can be safe. So that you can understand what you live around. So you can understand who you in an environment with. And you can understand what might be the straw that break the camel's back. But some of y'all ain't here to actually learn that. Some of y'all here to just point the finger and sit up here and laugh and kick in and ha ha and feel like you got the upper hand. Now that you get, now is your turn to, to finally uh, have some power to bully somebody. See, that's what some, some of y'all want to trauma bond. Some of y'all don't really want to learn about the world that you in and how to protect yourself so that you really know the full scope of the problem. Some of y'all don't want to know that. Some of y'all too busy. Why I got to be responsible? How is this my problem, ma'am? Is domestic violence your problem? Is a male graping you your problem? Is a male slapping you in your damn mouth a problem? Your problem? Yes, it is. Well, guess what? If that's your problem that affects you, the things that put a male in a position to snap like that and do that, you might want to understand that. You might want to understand what might lead to that. I mean, if you have any rational sense, you might want to understand that. Right? Right? If you have rational sense, you might want to understand what triggers the male. You might want to understand why males are feeling push down into their lowest nature to the point where they feel like they don't have another option but to take somebody out and themselves. You might want to start understanding that because, baby, you in danger. You in danger. There's a reason Scott Galloway keep running around here talking about we creating the most dangerous man on earth. It's the reason why they saying that. That's your problem, baby. That's your problem. Whether you want, whether you like it or not, because you can't, you, you don't live on a separate, you don't live in a separate universe. You live in a world where you're tethered to men. You tethered, which means that what you do affects him and what he does affects you. So what males do affecting you, right, affects them overall. Their behavior affects you and your response and how it affects you impacts him. The same way goes for you. What you do impacts him and the results of, what, of his impact impacts you. If we got common sense, that seems not to be too common, right? Cause and effect. It take two people. It take two to tango. You might want to know how you might be contributing to this issue and these responses that's coming off on you. You might want to know the nature of a male and their threshold. You might want to learn what the, the, the biological threshold is for men and realize that when you push them across that threshold, baby, ain't no more control. When you push a male across that threshold, ain't no more control. You can say he should have did this, should have, could have, would have, but you're not considering the threshold and the limitations that men have. And if you refuse to acknowledge that, you're going to realize after some shit happened to you. You're going to realize after some shit happened to you. So I'm trying to help you, right? right? And so like I told y'all, even with Sandra Bland, the reason that the cop 
had as much restraint as he had was because of his training. Society wanted the male to go even beyond his training that was able to control his male nature up to a point. I'm telling you, if you keep pushing these males, you're going to push them across a threshold and you're going to see the results of that. Y'all out here walking around delusional thinking that, why don't they just do this? He shoulda, coulda, woulda. What? Baby, you better learn what you're dealing with. Because it's only going to protect you if you knew how. Or if you knew. You think men telling you to... You think men telling you to keep your mouth closed and hush your mouth is just about control? To a degree it is, but not all the way. To a degree it is, but not 100%. The male is actually trying to tell you how to protect yourself from him by telling you to keep your mouth closed. Partially the male telling you to keep your mouth closed is about control, but it's not 100% about that. When the male tell you to keep your mouth closed, he is trying to protect you, trying to tell you how to protect yourself from him. Because he's trying to let you know that you can trigger him to a point that he will lose it on you. It's a warning. Exactly. It's a warning. So let's see. Okay, let's put it, let's, let me turn the camera around real quick. So men be trying to warn you. And this is the part that nobody in society is really focused on. They focused on right and wrong. He shouldn't have did this. He shouldn't have did that. They're not focusing on the neurological makeup of a male and males be trying to warn you and y'all keep pushing these males and they lose it on you you just saw how all these dudes just went off on the tvs shooting the tvs hitting beating the tvs with bats grabbing knives this is what they have done to women right they treated you like the tvs so let's go back to this right dude tried to warn her Men be telling you to hush your mouth, be quiet. They tell you that to try to warn you so that you can protect yourself from them. Get your food. Who? Give it up. Who? Hey, 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 hey. Get your food. Get your food. If you say one more thing, I'm gonna knock you out. Oh my God! I said one more thing, I'm gonna knock you out. Oh. Now look, look what they did to the TVs now. Look what they did when they got mad at them TVs, at the game. And that's how they did them TVs. Ladies, stop going back and forth with these men. They be trying to warn you because they know they self. They know they're violent. They know they going to lose control. They be trying to tell you. Stop talking back to these men. Get your food. Who? Give it up. Who? Hey, 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 hey. Get your food. Get your food. None of these people in this line told that woman to be quiet. Nobody stepped in to try to stop this. Nobody went to handle him and nobody told her, lady, just be quiet. Y'all need to know the threshold of men. Now, when we talk about the cop and Sandra Bland, if that cop 
was not trained, he probably would have lost it a whole lot sooner. If the cop was not trained, he would have lost it a whole lot sooner. It was only because of his training that he was able to hold that much control. Because these males are going off with the snap of a finger with no attempt to even try to restrain themselves. If you say one more thing, I'm gonna knock you out. Oh my God, I'll say one more thing, I'm gonna knock you out. Y'all going to keep playing with these males. They showing you who they are. They don't have impulse control. They don't have impulse control. It don't matter what you think they reason is. They showing you. So if you care about your life at all, just be quiet. Just be quiet. Move around. I don't care if you think they need any reason. If you think they need any reason, then why would you give them a reason? If you truly think that they need any reason to justify abuse, then why would you give them a reason? Stop giving them the energy that you think they are looking for. Don't give them the energy that you think they are looking for. Because the guy was restraining himself up to a point, warning you, none of these other dudes that beat those TVs held any restraints. It was just like that. Domestic violence rates are high. These men are losing control in the house. They not trained, ladies. The men in your house are not trained police officers. They're not trained so they not go, they, they, the only thing that's controlling them is the thought or idea of a consequence, and that ain't enough. That ain't enough. Make them mad enough, they're going to black out. And if you see one giving you a warning, take the warning. If you see one giving you a warning, take the warning. Y'all can say now he's on a shirt, but guess how many men ain't on no shirt? Guess how many women on a shirt? Y'all can sit up here and think, oh, that's fun. Well, he on a shirt. Well, guess what? It's a bunch more women on a shirt as opposed to a man. So keep them sitting up here because one got one. One got popped. It's more of you getting popped than them. So keep on acting like, ah, he got it. Ladies. Stop acting like somebody going to come to your rescue because they not. They not. So you can make fun of this one, quote unquote, being on a shirt, but it's more y'all on the shirt than it is them. Don't celebrate because y'all dying every day. I'm just being real with you. Everything ain't a joke. Some stuff y'all should be taking seriously, right? Because that's one male. That one. Right? It's, a, it's all fun and games till it happened to them. You can coulda, shoulda, woulda all you wanted to. Men are not built like women. They not the same.
So, um, this thing started off with fresh and fit, right? Which ain't nothing but a catalyst to talk about other stuff. This, this wasn't nothing but a catalyst to talk about other things because it really ain't no news. It's not news. It's not news that a male is being a male, right? So now how do we learn from this? How do we move forward? How do we use this as a teaching opportunity? How do we learn more about the male psychology? How? This, we need to get off the viral something to talk about. We need to get off of, oh, here's something to talk about. Here's something to talk about. Talk about this. What we talking about? What what com what kind of commentary are you looking for? Because ain't nothing else that can be said about me. Everything about men, I done taught you already. There's nothing else to say about them. It's no surprise when they start being males, doing what males do. It's no surprise. At this point, we need to start using them as case studies and finding out how we can improve our behavior around them. How we can stop falling for silly stuff. How we can stop falling for the traps of consumerism and materialism. Finding value in things that have no real value. It only has value because we give it value. So if a diamond only has value because humans give it value, then why can't we start to learn to give each other value? You see more value in an inanimate object than you see in a human life. And that's pathetic. That's pathetic because fiat currency only has value because people believe in it. Fiat currency only has value because people collectively believe in it. When people stop believing in the dollar and the fiat currency, it will lose all value. So if it only takes belief to give somebody a value, why don't we believe in each other? Why don't we believe in ourselves? Why don't we put the value into a human life? Why don't we put more value into life than we put in an inanimate object? So again, I'm a social reformer. I'm not a commentator. Social reformer, teacher. Ain't nothing else I can say about males that I ain't already said. There's absolutely nothing else that I can say about a male that I ain't already said. When we going to change our behavior now? When we going to change our behavior? So, um, why don't we um, celebrate those who gave us a super chat let's celebrate those who gave us a super chat and a cash out if you would like to add value to the show and show your appreciation for what i do please don't hesitate to send us a cash out at princella c cash tag princella c or send a super chat with a nice little note let me know what this show does for you. And I tell you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. We'll take some calls if y'all want to call. Do y'all want to call in tonight? Do y'all have something that y'all want to say tonight? All right, if so, let me know, and then I'll put the phone number on the, on the 
the screen and y'all can call. Danique Mitchell, $5. Child, I knew you was going to talk about this mess with Ren and Stimpy. Miss May, $5 sticker. April, $5 sticker. Celine, $5. That poor woman fresh got pregnant is going to face uh, ostracization from her own community, too. There is no W for her at all. G, $20 sticker. St. Hudson, $5. They trashed San Francisco and burned up cars after winning. Mm, that's right. They did do that. They did do that. Veronica Charles, $20. Donna B. Lamb, $10. Love you, P. Keep going, sis. Terry, uh, $10. Keep your heads up and clear. Good night, ladies. Thank you so much. And let me see what we got on the uh, cash app. All right. All right. Uh, Rachel uh, Jarrell, $25. Ida, $40. Talicia, $5. Shan Alexander, $10. Good Times, $25. Kena, $20. And Zara Yancey, $10. Thank y'all so much. Thank you so much. Uh, if you want to um, speak on the phone, then I'm going to put the I'm going to put the phone number up here and then y'all can holler at me. Okay. 832-627-6575. Right. This is about life saving. This is about changing lives and our behavior. Right. All right. Eight, three, two, six, two, seven, six, five, seven, five. Right. So give us give us a second if anybody wants to call. Right. Uh, Bree La Divina, five dollars. Thank you so much. Queen Line celebrates eleven months of membership. Oh, girl, you finna get the, oh, you finna get that big old gold, that gold uh badge next month. Oh, diggity! All right, K Toki, three dollars. Uh, Mini Wortham, ten dollars. Because of your teachings, it's opened me to take more responsibility and action against my marriage. Fantastic. Congratulations to you, right? Congratulations to you. All right. So I'm going to leave the lines open for about another 60 seconds. Oh, here we go. If you want to call, call. If not, I'm going to go ahead and end the show. Hello. Hello. Yes, this is Prince Who am I speaking with? Hello. Uh, this is Lydia. Um, I am from Michigan. Uh, I'm calling. I have a question. Um, uh, I, I noticed in the in the live you were saying, you know, not to uh, not to engage in behavior that is triggering uh, for a lot of guys. Um, what is your opinion on when? No triggering behavior happens and violence still occurs. Well, see, that's the part that you got to understand that from your perspective, you don't think it's triggering. You don't get Mm. you don't get to say what's triggering for somebody else. So, like, let's say, for example, you're at the gas station and you are buying snacks or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. And let's say a guy comes up to you and they're like, hey, uh, you know, let me get your number. Let me holler at you. And let's say you say no in the most polite way you can think of. And it still elicits a, a, a violent or an, or an aggressive response. Again, and that's the reason why I got the art of finesse. Again, you don't get to say what's triggering for somebody else. How you know that that man ain't been turned down so many times? How how do you know that that male is just tired of being looked at like he nothing? And every time he want to talk to somebody, they turn him down. How you know that that's not triggering? Because males are fragile. You don't get to say what's triggering for somebody else, right? Reject Rejection is triggering for males. I don't care how nice you say it. 
Mm. Right. Which is the reason why you need to learn game, not game to try to manipulate, to try to get no money out of dude or to try to get him to to be a little puppy dog. You need to learn game so that you can walk away safely. Mm. So the, the safe way to say no, basically. Yeah, that's why okay. I wrote my book, Art of Finesse, that'll be available here in about a week or so. Right. Oh, okay. So, so there's a way. There's a specific way to. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Because I've seen a lot of scenarios like that. Uh, mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, what what would be your advice for service members uh, as far as working with males and, you know, in a, in a in a, uh, in a in a military capacity, like say within a unit or within a division or, or you know what I'm saying in a you know, in an organization like the military, which is very male, male heavy, um, what's been your experience or, or what would be your advice for females navigating through that kind of organization? Well, since you're in a male dominated uh, organization, the way you got to do the way you have to do things. You got to use you have to use your chain of command. You got to use your battle buddy system and you got to handle males the same way. The only thing is that there is a, a little bit of control or governance on the male. But since it's a male um, led organization, a lot of times a lot of them get slaps on the wrist. So you really got to you got to really protect yourself by having a sense of humor. Right. Being connected mm. with a, a solid support group. Uh, soldiers right that you actually can trust that are like-minded individuals i mean that's just how you got to roll you got to be conscious of your surroundings tr know who you can and can't talk to um but that's about as much as you can do on that level mm. would it be your advice ultimately that to avoid like male-centered organizations because like you were saying we're kind of tethered to them in society so would would the best thing be avoidance or you see what I'm saying? Like, I mean, are you in it? Well, yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> but I just mean, even if I wasn't like, would you say for the, but, for the average woman? Well, here's the thing. I ain't worried about if you wasn't. Cause if, if was a fifth, we'd all be drunk. You in it. <laughs> so you, if you wasn't in it, then maybe we could have that conversation, but you wouldn't even be asking that if you wasn't in it. Because you mm -hmm. that wouldn't even be at the forefront of your mind. So you in it. So now how do mm -hmm. you navigate? Right? How you right. okay. So that's what matters, right? And so you got to learn skill. You got to learn how to deal with and how to talk to men, right? And when it comes to men, you gotta get to a place where you don't take everything so seriously. Right? Mm. Because if you start taking stuff seriously and you start overcompensating all you do is show the male your weakness mm, okay and get him okay. an opportunity it's to play on it so like i say when the book come out get the art of finesse it'll t it, 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 it'll open your eyes to a lot on mm. how to maneuver oh. okay because what you're saying is trying to be combative back with the male is not a good idea yeah you can't beat the male in his own game you can't beat the male right. in his realm you can't, right. you just can't do it. His realm is aggression, so you trying to be aggressive back doesn't... You need to learn another it. way. You need to learn another way. Got it. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, no problem. Hello? Francella speaking. Who am I speaking with? This is Kina. How you doing? What Thank you got you. for me? <laughs> yes, I wanted to um, just again thank you for your guidance, and I I wanted to share a little bit about how my life has changed. Um, you know, just after listening to you, I've been listening since last August. I've been a member since last August, mm -hmm. and. Um, yeah, so I moved into a duplex where I shared it with a man who lived downstairs, a duplex, uh, last October. Mm -hmm. And uh, just like the previous caller 
was saying, what if you don't do anything that triggers them? But we don't, you're saying that we don't know what will trigger men. Yeah, because, and, yeah, because women only want to see things from their point of view. And your point of view is inaccurate when you're trying to analyze the behavioral patterns of somebody else. Don't nobody give a fuck about your point of view. You need to know their point of view. And you need to know why they're behaving a way so that way you can see what is a trigger for them. Because men and women ain't the same. What trigger you? What trigger you might not trigger them, and what trigger them, what trigger them might not trigger you. So we don't get to say what's a trigger for somebody else. Even if you was talking to another woman, you don't get to say what you feel is not a trigger for her if she mad at you about something that you would have said. Yes, I agree. Mm -hmm. Because this man, we, you know, I have two daughters, two teen daughters, and we're just we were just upstairs having a good old time laughing. I'm cooking almost every night. I'm just going to work. This individual, he didn't have a job. His car broke down and our laughter was triggering to him. Mm -hmm. And he would terrorize us mm -hmm. by banging on the walls or letting us know that I guess in his uh, opinion, we're too loud. And um, it got to a point where I've, I've had to start calling the police. And that started to change his behavior um, a little bit. Nothing that I would say, I would report him to the landlord. That didn't matter. It kind of took police to come by. You know, I would do a mental, well, I would send police over to his house to do a mental wellness check. You could do that. Mm -hmm. And that's. That decreased it, but I, I have moved from that place. I just moved into my place last week, and I had to pick up a second job to save up money to get up out of there. Mm -hmm. I, there was nothing that was going to change his behavior. I, we were walking on eggshells. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because here's the thing. What women need to understand is that this environment is unnatural for everybody. And it's even way more unnatural for males. So we have to always go back to Universe 25. Why did Universe 25 start? What was the, what was the motivation to, be, to start Universe 25? They took four pairs of mice out of the wild, male and female, and put them in a box. Why? To create a utopia that will allow the male to mate, not have to face any predators, have access to food and everything, nesting and everything. Well, they thought they was keeping the predators out, but they created the predators inside by allowing the males to multiply through the females and every male that every person, every male that's born into that environment is triggered off of the other people that's in the environment, the other mice that's in the environment, not just the males, but the females too. And there's an increase in violence. So what we need to understand is that st women don't understand a stimulus. You and your presence is a stimulus to a male just like the rest of the environment. So if you don't analyze the environment, know the psychological disposition of the male himself, you yourself, your existence and your presence can be a trigger for the male because the entire environment is already unnatural. Males ain't even supposed to be in the house like this. We're trying to create a nuclear family and do all this stuff, but that's unnatural. Men need to be out of the house, moving around, away. But women typically want to keep them there. Yeah, I agree. He, he lost his job, so he was home all the time. And I'm just coming and going, going to work, cooking. I never smell any food coming from his place. That's why... I'm that right there is the reason why he couldn't stand y'all laughing or anything. You, you have to understand, if he lost his job, 
Number one, he didn't just lose his job. There are a lot of other things that happen to the male psychologically with the loss of a job. Number one, society is placing a whole lot of pressure on men to maintain this status and take all of this weight and responsibility. And they are seen as the quote unquote providers. You're not a man if you're not doing this. When they lose their job, their self-esteem is severely impacted. Their self-worth is severely impacted because they know that society is looking down on them, right? You're looking at him like he's not much of a man. So there's a lot of psychological stuff that's happening when a man loses his job. Then men already have shame about expressing how they feel. They have shame about expressing what's really going on because now, because men are ego driven, everything that matters is their ego. You bruise the male's ego, you bruise everything. So if you are looking for him to provide a certain thing and he can't provide that, right? He can't live up to the expectations and then he don't know how to express himself either. Men bottle That's shit up. They he could have just communicated with us, you but say he that. decided to go the violent route. You, you're right. Could have, would have, should have. Yes. Yeah. You say that, but that ain't how men work. You say th it don't work like that. Th their neurological makeup, they are predisposed to holding in emotion. They predisposed to that. And then society don't make it no better by, by telling men that they have to do it. Right. Mm -hmm. So now you you got this and you don't realize that you're triggering him. Right. By your existence, all the kids in the house, because all of that is going on in his head because he feeling less than a man. So there's anger, there's resentment, there's depression, there's all of these emotions that's bottled up and anything can make them snap at that point. And then on top of being in the house where they not supposed to be because they supposed to be out of the house moving around. Now you sit him still where all of that testosterone is bottling up because he has no outlet and he can't say nothing to you because you a woman and men live to try to get access to women. So they have to try to appear to be a certain way to get a woman. So it's a bunch of stuff that's going on that he ain't nothing but a ticking time bomb walking around the house. And you don't know this and you don't know it. The kids don't know it. Yeah, and we didn't. Mm hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And so, so in the new place, I read, it, I read it really, you know, I definitely listened to your, your guidance when I, you know, was looking for a new place. And now I have security cameras. I have all kinds of stuff. You know, I, I have protection now because I, I really don't know. I don't know what my neighbors are going to start doing or how they're going to be feeling. It seems like a good neighborhood, but who knows? Mm hmm. Now, I'm just moving a lot different. That's good, right? Just have the protection, stay in the house, you know, uh, get you get you a uh, a community of support, you know, people that you can reach out to um, that can be there, that, you know, that you can call, let them know what's going on or whatever, but don't just be isolated, you know, have a network. You need a network of people, but keep men out your house. Leave the marriage shit alone. Leave the nuclear family shit alone. Keep the men out of your house because as you see, they will destroy everything. Men are not wired and fit to be in a social environment. They're naturally antisocial. And because of that and all of this pressure that they put on, it's, it's making men crumble. It's making them break. It's breaking them down. And society breaking men down it affects women. That's women's problems because guess who they're going to take it out on? They're going to take it out on you. They're going to take it out on the kids. They will unalive you, the kids, and themselves. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been there. I'm divorced, and 
the reason I divorced was because my ex-husband just showed signs that he was about to kill us. So mm -hmm. I got us out of there. Mm -hmm. And I've been just dealing with men since then and not really knowing that him in the house was keeping other men from protect, you know, from attacking us. But now it's just us and we're going to be okay. Yeah, you will. <laughs> After listening to you. Yeah, you will. You will. Uh, and, and I'm so glad that you decided to continue listening to me and taking your future and your protection into your in your own hands. So that was wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate your call. All right. Have a good night. Bye bye. Yes, I do believe that the nuclear family was an experiment. Hello. Hello, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm fantastic. What you got for me tonight? Who am I speaking with? Hey, this is Sara. Sara, how you doing? What you got for me tonight? Oh my goodness, when you were talking about men during games, like how they were punching the TVs, it was like crazy because in the UK, there's a study that when a soccer game goes on, you know how like soccer is really popular in the UK. That's when domestic violence goes up like so much that night. Most women will be like beat up by their man if their team loses. So it's crazy that, you know, there's studies that show that men see us as objects anyway. So during the night, during the game, you see them punching the TV. But if you look at studies, that's when the domestic violence even increases in like real life. Mm -hmm. which is it's so crazy <laughs> yeah. like you just never put that together no one puts it together <laughs> absolutely absolutely yeah. All right i appreciate you i definitely appreciate uh -huh. that little tidbit yeah that's crazy but thank you i appreciate your channel you definitely got me out of an abusive relationship when i was 18 with this like 28 year old man so thank you. <laughs> I'm glad that you listened. I'm glad you found me and got out of that. Stay single. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Hello? Princella speaking. Who am I speaking with? Hi, uh, this is Iman. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, it's a pleasure. Thank you for calling. And no need to be nervous. We listening. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. So when you were um, sharing the videos of the men um, kind of like going crazy on with the TVs and stuff, what I actually noticed was how they were very quiet and calm right before they kind of attack the TV. Like there were some videos where I was like, oh snap, he just started attacking the TV. And I was like, with these men, you never even know when they're about to attack. So not only do you not even know what triggers them, it's like all of a sudden they start to attack and then that's where you kind of see these cases where you know, you have wives and children attacked out of nowhere from this quote unquote you know loving father or husband mm -hmm. or whatever and it kind of reminded me about that study that you shared with the little kids um who were listening to like the the noise of the baby or mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. and um all the boys kind of just turned it off because mm -hmm. they couldn't handle it right right and how you know when when men feel a lot of emotion or they're like something is really stimulating them and their testosterone is going high they kind of don't even know how to handle it and all they know is how to stop whatever stimulus right is kind of coming for them yes and destroy that quote unquote threat yes. and a lot of times that's their family exactly yeah that's that's so that's thought, nail on the head that to me was was yeah, very, very scary um, and very, very eye opening. And I'm in the healthcare um, field, um, specifically kind of like in like dermatology. And I was watching your videos with the whole Gooch grease and um, dig cheese. Uh, yeah. 
Hey, I wanted to add a list for you, uh, add something to your list. There's a thing called a pilar cyst, which is basically a big old abscess at the top of your butt crack. Mm. And they got a lot and of them too. Girl, they like to say, oh, you know, it's because if you're sitting around too long and kind of like that area gets blocked, that duct gets blocked, but it's always men. It's always overweight men and it's always dirty, dirty men who already have the, the, the gooch grease or the dick cheese. And now all that stuff is blocking their sweat, uh, sweat glands um, and then creates this cyst that's so bad it starts draining and they have to get surgery to fix it. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, man, that is terrible. How many... Okay, so the chick that was saying that like seven out of ten males that come in there to get a prostate exam have shit between the mm-hmm. how many what percentage out of ten do you would you say had a cyst? Oh, the cyst? I don't know because they usually come in with a problem, but we do a lot of skin exams, right? Uh-huh. So these men kind of have to go undressed, so we have to look at that area as well. And I would say nine out of ten. Nine out of ten that come in there. Yes. Mhm. Yeah. And then we see all types of like all ages. So these are children. These are teenagers, adults, elderly, middle age, all of them. They got. They always got some shit. I have to sometimes when I am working with some of them have to tell the nurse like to double layer the the chairs that they sit on. Wow. Mhm. And 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 it's women letting these men in their bodies, inside of their yeah. bodies, inside of their bodies, and they wonder why they smell funny. And then they wonder why men don't respect them. They wonder why men see them as damaged goods if you've slept with a man, cause they know mm-hmm. how filthy they are. They know how low they are, and that's why they think mm-hmm. that you have no self respect when you mm-hmm. go from man to man. That's why they mm-hmm. think that. And they write. Mm-hmm. They write. Oh, 100%. They know how dirty they are. They're in their locker rooms together. Mm-hmm. They see each other. They mm-hmm. see each other next to the urinals. You know, statistically, that you can, if there is no um, hand soap in the, in the women's bathroom, that nine out of ten times, if you go to the men's bathroom, you will always find hand soap. Because they don't even wash their hands. Wow. They don't wash their hands. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have done that multiple times when there is nothing in there, and I'm like, oh, snap. All I do is walk over, and it's always full to the brim. Wow. To the top. Nasty. 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 Man. Yep. Mm-hmm. This, these y'all boyfriends, y'all husbands, your brothers, they, they, <laughs> they're who it is. Not my man. Yeah, Are you sure? Mm-hmm. No, it's always your man because it's every man. Mm-hmm. And the other, the other thing is, it's like um, they don't care how much women you slept with. You could have slept with fifty eleven women. It doesn't even cross their mind that you're dirty or hyper hypersexual or anything. Because mm-hmm. they know women are not dirty. Right. My little niece right now is only two years old. She already wants to clean herself and potty train Mm -hmm. without nobody asking her. Yeah, my nephew is having the hardest time still peeing in his bed at like five years old. Mm. Wow. Somebody called him filthy McNasties. And it's just... (laughs) They are nasty, and they know they're nasty. It, it, what shocked me with your channel was how much they really do know themselves. Mm-hmm. Like, we thought, we over here thinking, oh, men are simple creatures. They are this, they are that. No, they very much know what they're doing, and they very much know what they're saying, and they know that they're always moving the goalposts. Mm-hmm. That's what shocked me. It shocked me about all the videos. I kind of knew they, were, they had a lot of double standards. Mm-hmm. But the double talk, mm-hmm. the double talk mm-hmm. is insane. 
Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, hopefully, hopefully women will one day wake up. Hopefully they will. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I just feel like they they have a they have a lot of double talk. They seem confused, but they somehow they somehow kind of brainwash the whole Hold world on. into patriarchy. Hold on, mm-hmm. just a second, because at first I thought my daughter was flipping me off. I'm like, when did you start flipping? What the, where the hell did it come from? Mm-hmm. And she did. She over here talking about my finger. Hurt. Oh, okay. So you oh. hurt your finger. You hurt your middle finger, but you pushing it out there like. Are you playing? Are you running game on me? Is your finger really hurt or are you flipping me off? What you doing? What did you, you hurt your finger on the door? Yeah. Is that better? Yes. For some reason, I feel like you running game on me, but okay. All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, okay. Well, thank you so much for taking my call. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I appreciate you. Yep. Bye. Did y'all see that? She came in here like this, and I'm like, "What? What I do? Where you learn this? <laughs> my finger hurt. Oh, oh, okay. So you hurt your finger. Okay." <laughs> 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 oh, let's see. Oh, let's see. That was six, six, and we got Bellevue. Last phone call. Hello? Priscilla speaking. Who am I speaking with? Hi, Priscilla. This is Michelle. How you doing, Michelle? What you got for me tonight? I just want to say thank you so much for your show. I love your broadcast. Um, I'm a major fan of yours. Uh, I have a question about what you're saying about men. You're saying, you know, you've been saying a lot that women really need to be concerned about men because they're very dangerous. Mm-hmm. Do you think in the next few years things will get worse with men? Yeah. Yeah, it's mm. it's it's inevitable. The writing is on the wall. Right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, this is why women need to take notice and stop living in Delulu Island. Right? And really realize what's going on with men so that they can really realize their surroundings. But a lot of women for some reason feel like What's going on with men ain't a problem. How the hell what's going on with men ain't your problem when what goes on with them directly impacts you? It, yes. it th- Whatever's going on with them directly involves you because it threatens you. So you might want to know why men <laughs> are the way and what's going on with them. Like you so selfish that you're not even thinking about yourself. But Princella, I also had a question, I guess, like, do you also think there's a way for women to interact with men in a way that will allow them to talk? And Or you think maybe it's not even worth even talking to them because they're a lost cause? Well, for, for most of them, it ain't worth talking to them because they are a lost cause. That's why I keep telling you, men can't be saved. You can't help men. You can't help men. What understanding what's going on with men is about helping yourself in the community. It's about protecting yourself. It's not about trying to save men or rationalize with men. You can't. There's nothing you can do for men, right, on a collective yeah. level, right? Any individual male that progresses and uh, does something with his life, that male is an individual. He don't speak for the whole. You have to judge individuals on individuals on an individual basis when you talk about males. Who doing mm. right? Collectively, you need to understand the core and the foundation of the male, right? When you ha- when you ha- when you teach one male, you teach that one person. When you teach a woman, 
uh, you teach a whole nation, right? You teach a generation. Mm -hmm. You teach, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, ain't no help in men. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, Priscilla. I appreciate it. Um, I love your show, and I'm a longtime supporter. So, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. -bye. Hello. Princella speaking. Who am I speaking with? Hey, Princella. This is Talicia. How you doing, Talicia? What you got for me tonight? Hey, I just wanted to chime in going back to the men, you know, being violent. Mm -hmm. You know, I would even say over nothing, but it brought me back to a memory back in like the mid to the mid to late 90s. I remember my grandmother living in these apartments and a lady from downstairs came and introduced herself to all the adults and she said, Hey, I just want y'all to tell, I just want to tell y'all my boyfriend, I think he was bipolar, but they said, uh, you know, he's sick in the head. And if y'all do me a favor and keep your kids away from his car, because he has a gun and he will shoot one of those kids. Mm -hmm. So if y'all just, you know, I know those are good kids and they're just playing, but just, you know, keep that in mind. And I remember the adult sitting us down telling us about it. And we were all confused. and like, why would somebody do that? And. The adults were no. They they said no. Listen, stay away from that car. Y'all can play anywhere you want to. And I just remember I was about five or six, and they, and they told us that. So, you know, from an early age, I've been warned about the behavior of men and how violent they can get. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Uh, I think this just needs to be something. You know. Women have been tricked into cornering themselves in a very peculiar situation. Absolutely. Be because women have been tricked to value the birth of a son over a daughter. And so they've been pushing women and, you know, boy moms. They do this. And here's the funny thing. A lot of these women get mad at me when I talk about boy moms. But guess what? You know, I was just, uh, I went to... A Umar Johnson lecture uh, the other day, and that's interesting. He mentioned that. He mentioned that what these mothers of sons do, how they discard their daughters, coddle their sons, they do this, right? And this this helps facilitate the issues that women have collectively. You're you have been co-opted in your own destruction. You've been tricked to birth your oppressor and praise it. Absolutely. And, you know, it's interesting that you mentioned that also because just last week I was on the phone with my dad. And, you know, his mom is very open about not liking girls. She treated her daughters different and her granddaughters. And the whole family just excuses it. And they say, oh, that's just how she is. And, of course, the boys and the males benefited from it. But my dad brought up how um, my aunt would be on her daughter's ass all the time. And her son, she would never get on his ass. And mind you, guy rest his soul, he's dead now. Mm -hmm. And my dad said, you know, I used to whoop his ass and get on him all the time. And I would tell her, the way you're getting on your daughter, you need to get on your son. And I said, that was interesting coming from a man who benefited from the boy favoritism. But, right. you know, the, the men, they tell us the truth. And I, this was my dad talking to me. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So we got a long, we got a long ways to go to, to get to get to women. But you ain't going to be able to save everybody. Uh, a lot of them are going to be complicit in their own destruction. You know what I mean? And you just got to let them destroy themselves, you know. Cause that, Absolutely. Yeah, and, look, and get out the way while they do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for giving me a call tonight. All right. Well, thank you. You have a good night, Queenmaker. You too. Bye-bye. All right. All right. Uh, I want to uh, – Kendra sent me 111. Uh, Katie Thomas – 
thirteen dollars and Tarika Neal ten dollars. Katie Thomas say for thirteen sign astrology. For y'all who don't know about thirteen sign astrology, that is uh the original astrology that was actually developed by women. It has uh the sign Ophiuchus in it and it was all kicked out. It was directly connected to astronomy as it's different from tropical astrology and all that. So, you know, that's that's the one that women had their hand in. All right. So it's the true astrology. So anyway, it's been good tonight. I hope y'all got something out of it. I hope y'all can think about it. Ain't nothing else I can say about the email that I, I ain't already said. It's now time for you to uh, be serious and see what world you live in. Stop selling yourself to these males. Stop chasing money and not valuing the life that you brought in, that you bring into the world behind some crumbs. Learn your value. Y'all don't know your value. You don't need to chase for crumbs when you are the creator of the damn world. Right? Get some sense. Get some sense and stop impacting unborn souls here. Stop impacting unborn souls with your materialism and your desperation to play some type of game. Some patriarchal game. And then don't want to have no responsibility for the, for the hand that you got in the world looking like it look. Anyway, y'all have a good night. I'll catch you on the next one. We got movie night tomorrow. So if you're a part of the membership team, join us for movie night tomorrow. All right? Make sure you check the community tab. All right, have a good night.